everyone how are you i hope you all are fine so in this video we will discuss uh, uh, chapter 1 of class 10 that is chemical reaction and equation okay so let's uh, see that what is in this chapter okay this is our first chapter of chemistry okay so here first thing is that consider the flowing situation of daily life and and then what happen when okay it means here is a situation is given some situations are given then and, and um, there is a question that we have to observe that uh, what happen when it means uh, when what happen okay so let's see when the milk is left at room temperature during summer if the milk is uh, uh, left uh, without uh, uh, boil uh, it is left in a room temperature okay during summer what happen you know what happen i will show you a figure that uh, uh, is the same as the uh, we can say the like the room temperature uh, when sorry when we put the milk at a room temperature during summer okay i will show you a figure then you, yes yes so this is the condition of that milk if we left the milk in the summer okay let's see it looks uh, you can see that the milk is uh, got uh, thick thick okay do this you can say understand it okay but uh, i will show you i have already shown you the figure that what is the condition of that milk so you have make clear okay in the same way an iron ions of trans if you exposed in the humid atmosphere it means a uh, uh, atmosphere in which there is some uh, presence of water is present so sorry some amount of water is present okay so in that is atmosphere you see that the iron tava turned into a red color did you notice yes i think you have notice that thing like uh, if you if you uh, expose some iron thing in the humid atmosphere it turns in red color okay grapes get friend food is cooked okay what happen when food food is cooked uh, grapes get fermented food get digested in your body we respire okay so in all the above situation the nature and the identify of the initial substance have somewhat changed it means sir uh, there was uh, somewhat changes in it it means uh, the milk is also uh, milk is also changed in the room temperature during summer a tava a iron tava is also changed in the humid atmosphere okay we have already learned about the physical and chemical changes of matter in our previous classes we all know that uh, what is physical chemical changes okay in the previous uh, changes of matter okay whenever a chemical change occurs we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place it means whenever it means whenever wondering as if as to what is actual meant by a chemical reaction it means you may perhaps to be wondering as to what is actual meant by a chemical reaction it means there is what is the actual mean of chemical reaction let's see how do we come to know what a chemical reaction has taken place it means how we come to know that a what uh, that a chemical reaction that is taken place let us perform some activities to find this answer okay to find this answer we have to do an activity there is a activity that uh, this activity needs the teacher as assistance it uh, will better if the student wear suitable eye glasses so clean your magnesium ribbon about Three to four centimeter long by rubbing it with a sandpaper. It means uh, here is a we have to take a magnesium ribbon like uh, okay, and we have to clean it with the help of sandpaper. Okay, you know what is sandpaper? It is just like a paper. Okay, that is 
made up of hands. Hold it with a pair of tongs. It means hold it with a pair of tongs like this one is a tongue. Okay. This one like. And burn it using a spirit lamp or a burner. And collect the ash so formed in the watch glass. And the stone in figure in burnation. We will keep it away for us. Possible formula. It means we have to uh, burn the what magnesium we want and take this one what that it is after burning there is some particles uh, come into the watch glass that is called magnesium oxide okay what do you observe you must have observed that magnesium ribbon uh, burns with a white flame and changes into a white powder. You see here that it changes into a white powder. Okay. This powder is magnesium oxide. This powder is called magnesium oxide. It is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in the air. It means it is the reaction due to the magnesium and the oxygen present that is present in the air. The only activity is given. This is also the activity. Now from here, our chapter start that is chemical equation. Okay, activity 1.1 can be described as when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted into magnesium oxide. It means when we see we have seen the activity first that is uh, when the magnesium uh, ribbon is burnt it turns into a white powder that is called the magnesium oxide okay this description of a chemical reaction in a sentence form is a quit long it means it is a former uh, description that a chemical reaction in a sentence that is quit long it can be written in a shorter form that the simplest way to do this is to write in the form of a word equation it means uh, if we write in the form of equation it is very simple the word equation from the above reaction would be it means the equation of that thing that is given uh, from the equation activity first okay that is magnesium plus oxygen it means these are the reactants and reacts to form magnesium oxide that is product it means it is very easy to write if we write in a sentence that we uh, write like this magnesium and oxide react together and uh, in the form of product we get magnesium oxide it become long yes it became long but with the help of equation it is very easy okay now the next thing is the substance that undergoes chemical change in the reaction magnesium and oxygen are the reactants it means the in the in the reaction the whole reaction there is a the two reactant that is magnesium and oxygen they the new substance is uh, magnesium oxide formed during the reaction it means after sorry in the form of product there is a new substance formed that is magnesium oxide magnesium oxide formed during the reaction as a product the word equation shows during the, the reaction as a product of our equation source changes the uh, reactant to product through an arrow placed between them. It means it is explained due to the arrow placed between them like this one. The reactants are the written on the left side uh, LHS. It means uh, we cannot write the product as this side that is magnesium. oxide okay we have to write this as in rhs it means right hand side and the reactants that is this one is written in left hand side okay with a plus sign it means if we are uh, going to uh, react to any things there is obviously two things that first one is this and second one is this okay So between them 
Similarly, product are the written on the right hand side with a plus sign. It means the product is written on the right hand side. Between them, the arrow hit point toward the product shows the direction of the reaction. It means that it shows the direction that reaction due to this one. We get the product what magnesium oxide. Writing a chemical reaction. It means uh, here is a you can say the shapes. Some I think given that is the writing a chemical equation that how to write the chemical reaction. If there is any other shorter way for representing the chemical equation, that is chemical equation can be more concise and useful if we use chemical formula instead of words. It means it is more useful when we use the chemical formula. Here is uh, we have written Mg and here is uh, in the previous we have written magnesium. Okay, it is too shorter than this. Okay. A chemical equation represented chemical reaction. Okay, if you call formula of magnesium and oxygen and magnesium oxide, our equation can be written as this. If we write that the same thing in the form of formula, it written like this that Mg plus O2 is equal to M0 that is magnesium oxide. Count and compare the number of atom of each element on the LHS and RHS of the arrow. It means count the number that is magnesium is more than oxygen. Is the number of atoms each element uh, same on the both side? If yes, then the equation is balanced. If not, then the equation is unbalanced. If there is uh, equation is uh, we can say the same, it means the equation is balanced. If the number is uh, we can say unequal, then the equation is unbalanced because the mass is not the same on the both side of the equation. It means uh, when the in the simple way that the if uh, the same mass is not uh, on this both side it will be unbalanced and if the same mass will be there so it will be balanced such a chemical equation is a what is a skeletal chemical equation for a reaction it means uh, such a uh, equation called a skeletal chemical equation Equation is a skeletal chemical equation for the burning of magnesium in air. It means it was a what? A skeletal equation for the burning of magnesium in air. Balanced chemical equation. Here is some balance. Like recall the laws of conservation. You can say here that these are balanced. Okay, zinc, sulfuric oxide, zinc sulfate. Is they are balanced? Yes. I think let's see recall the laws of conservation of mass that you study in class 9 there is a uh, laws of conservation of mass that we have studied in class 9 that uh, mass can neither be created and nor be destroyed mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction okay that is the total mass of the element present in the product of a chemical reaction it means that is the total mass of the element present in product of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the element present in the reactant it means it will be it should be equal to the total mass of the reactant okay that is chemical present in the reactant in other words the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after chemical reaction hence we need to balance uh, skeletal chemical equation it means if they are uh, the skeletal ke uh, chemical equation when they are not equal it means they are, are unbalanced okay is the chemical equation balanced let us balancing a chemical equation step by step okay the word equation form activity 1.3 Zinc plus sulfuric, sulfuric acid is equal to as a product zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. The same thing is the is in the formula. Okay, the number of atom and reactants that is zinc is one, hydrogen two, one four and here is about the RHS. Okay, as the number of atom of each element is the same on both sides of the arrow is balanced chemical equation yes it is balanced how you can see that zinc 
वन एंड ऑल्सो इन आर एच एस ऑल्सो हाइड्रोजन टू टू हेर इज ऑल्सो टू सल्फर इज वन एंड वन इन दिस ऑल्सो एंड आर एच एस ऑल्सो एंड ऑक्सीजन इज फोर इन द ओके सो दिस इक्वेशन इज बैलेंस्ड इट इज नॉट अ स्केल्टल इक्वेशन ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट आर स्केल्टल इक्वेशन एंड वॉट आर बैलेंस्ड इक्वेशन ओके नाउ आज द नंबर ऑफ आइटम ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट Let us try to balance the flowing chemical equation. Okay, here is a so that let us try to balance step one. These steps are very important. To balance a chemical equation, first draw boxes around each formula. It means to balance. Suppose that this one is given. Let put a box. Put in the box such a reaction. Okay. Don't change anything inside the box while balancing the equation. It means we have to not change anything inside the box to only make the box. Okay. Now then, list the number of atom on a different element present in the unbalanced equation. It means we have to list the number of atom that are unbalanced. That is, iron is unbalanced because here is three and here is one. So we have to write this one. Okay. Then after that, uh, hydrogen. It is two. Now oxygen that is one and four. Okay, step three. It is the step that is it is often to convey and to start a balancing with the compound that contain the maximum number of atom. It means that compound that com contain the maximum number. Okay, select the element which has the maximum number of atom. Select that element which have the maximum number of atom. Using this criteria, we select F E three O four. Okay. And the element oxygen in it. There are four oxygen atom. RHS has only one, and the LHS. It means here is LHS have only one, and RHS have four. It means it has the uh, the to balance the oxygen atom. Initial in the reactant one in H two O. H two O one okay. But in four in F three O four okay. One into four. It is balanced. Yes. To equalize the number of atom, it is to balance. We have to multiply by four to get four. Okay, it must be remem uh, remembered that we cannot alter the formula of the compound or of element uh, involved in the reaction. For example, to balance oxygen atom, we can put coefficient four as a four H two O, and not like this. Okay, we have if we are balancing any equation. We have to put like this here. Not we can write like this. Okay, that uh, O four and like this. Okay, no. Now the partially balanced the equation becomes like this. Okay. In the first we have to put the box, and in the second we have to choose the maximum number of uh, uh, atom that contains the maximum. Sorry, that compound that have the maximum. Number of atom that is in oxygen, we have to balance it like this to add to multiply four. Like this, we write that four in this side. Okay. Now then, step five. Fe and H atom are still not balanced, but iron and hydrogen are not balanced. Pick any one of these element to to proceed further. Let us balance hydrogen atom in the partially balanced equation to equalize initial. Eight in four into two oxygen. Okay, as a four on the RHS. It means we see that here is four. Wait. To equalize the number of four, yes. To equalize the number of H atoms, make the number of molecules of four hydrogen as a four on the RHS. It means we have to make the hydrogen as a four. Okay. So initial there is eight in four H two O and in product there is two in two yes to balance we have to like this here is it and to do product side also we have to multiply with four like this so we will multiply for with four so we will we will write the four in this side now 
Now examine the above equation and pick up the third element that is not balanced that is iron. One left it to be balanced that is iron. Okay, so initially one Fe like this. And in here is 3. So we have to multiply with 3 like this. Now, finally to check the correction to the unbalanced equation, we count the atoms of each element on the both sides of the equation. It means they are balanced like this. This one is balanced equation. The number of atoms of element on the both sides of equation are equal. This equation is now balanced. It means they, they are equal. So, they are called balanced equation. Okay. Now, this equation is now, this method of balancing chemical equation is called heat and trial method. Okay. This method is called heat and trial method. As we make trial to balance the equation by using the smallest whole number coefficient. Okay. Writing symbols of a physical state. Carefully examine the uh, above balanced equation. Does the this equation tells us anything about the physical state of each reactant and the product? Here is a question. Does no information has been given in this equation about their physical state? It means no equation, no information is given. Okay, there. Yeah. So to make a chemical equation more in, informative, the physical state of the reactant and the product are mentioned along with. It means for the more info, informative, we have to also the physical state reactants and products are mentioned along with their chemical equation formula. The gaseous, liquid, aqueous and solid state of the reaction and the product are represented by the notation like uh, gases by G, liquid L, aqueous AQ and solid by S respectively. The word aqueous is written if it is reactant or product is present as a solution in water. It means if the, uh, the solution is present in water, so they are called aqueous. So we all know that uh, iron is solid, water is sorry, H2O is a like uh, oxygen is a gas, F3O4 is a solid and this one is gas, okay. Note that the symbol is used to, Z is used to with H2O to indicate that is this the reaction water is used in the form of steam. It means it is uh, here G is used just because, because it is used in the form of vapor it means steam okay usually physical state are not included in a chemical equation unless it is necessary to specify them it means usually they are not included in the chemical uh, equation but physical state are not included in the chemical reaction but it is necessary to specify them unless it is necessary to specify them sometimes the reaction conditions such as temperature pressure catalyzed etc for the reaction are indicated above and or below in the arrow like CO gas 340 and like us like this okay using this step can you balance given the text earlier so 1.2 okay using this steps can you balance yes that is heat and trial matter there are also types of chemical reaction okay so the types of chemical reaction we will discuss in the next video okay that's all for today i hope you understand the heat trial method to balance the chemical equation okay thank you have a nice day